I hope you're ready for this. This video will change gymnastics forever. <laughs> Hello, I'm Niall Wilson. Today I wanted to do a video and explain the rules of gymnastics to people that don't have a clue. First, it's a shame because gymnastics is an absolutely incredible sport. Like people love to watch it. They love, you know, it's, it's so impressive that the, the what what the people are doing because like the people in the audience there's no way on the earth that they could physically do that so that's why it's incredible to watch and it displays incredible strength flexibility power something that just the human body wouldn't think is possible so that's why it, it's just awesome to watch but no one gets it yeah. Is that any good no idea no idea. Well done. He, he took a little step on landing though. Mm. See that step? That could cost him. Yeah. That could cost him the medal. That, that little step. It's all mm. about the landing. All about the landing. <laughs> now, this is the only natural thing like the, the audience try and get involved. And it's difficult. You know, it's not something simple that people, everyone gets. You know, football, you have two nets. Whoever puts the ball in the net the most time wins. Um, it's very, very complicated. And now this video, I'm going to explain to you in the simplest form possible the basic rules of gymnastics so you can go to the next competition and get involved. You know, get involved, yeah, that's, that's a great score, that's a great score. Oh, I understand that a bit a little bit now, you know, what, why the judges are doing that, why is he the, he's at the top of the leaderboard, why he's won, why he hasn't won. I want to try and make the whole experience of watching even, even better. Before I tell you this awesome information, Though I just want you to do one thing for me, and that is to give this video a like and share it to everyone that you can. If you're a gymnast yourself, you know how frustrating this is. Send it to your mum, send it to your dad, show your grandparents, show your friends, say, look, this is a bit about what I do. You know, especially that for those mums and dads sat in the audience that are like, why didn't you score that? Why did you score that? Why did you? you know, it's quite frustrating as a gymnast. First of all, the very, very basics. Men, six apparatus. Floor, pommel horse, rings, vault, parallel bars, high bar, six. Women, four apparatus. Vault, uneven bars, beam, floor. Yes, that's right. Men do not do beam. They will never do beam. Now in a competition, on each apparatus is a panel of judges. This is a judged sport. You get judged on what you do on that day, the performance, straight up. Now gymnastics as an official code of points. Today, I'm gonna to focus more on the men's side of things. However, it's the same, it's a very similar principle of these basics and it'll help you understand. There is a code of points with hundreds and hundreds of skills on every single apparatus. You can be a gymnast and have a, a completely different set of skills as this gymnast and still have a similar score. So that's exciting. There's hundreds, hundreds. Each skill in the code of points has a difficulty value and that is from A to G. A to G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And now that's quite simple in the fact that A is worth 0.1, G is worth 0.7. A, 1, B, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. An example on the floor, an A is a handspring, a backflip, a back somersault, tuck. A G is a triple back somersault, a triple twisting double back somersault. That difficulty value is spread and there's a, there's a book with all the skills in that says exactly what value it is. A routine, a gymnast has to perform a routine on all the six apparatus in the men and all the four in the women. For the men, a junior, so from ages sort of 12 to 18, a routine is eight skills added together, eight. A senior, 18 above, 10 skills. So a gymnast, I'm gonna talk about senior, does 10 skills, add together a routine. Now each apparatus has a set of requirements for an example is a dismount for a senior a full requirement is to do a dismount with a d difficulty value so it's worth four four times a b c d for example on floor is a triple twist i do a triple twist and i'm not going to explain all the the requirements on each apparatus because it will just get really confusing the 10 skills added together along with the requirements brings together a start value so on each apparatus you will have a start value score so everyone's is different that's why you get all these different scores now an example i'll try and make it very simple a gymnast does 10 D value elements, so worth four times, A, B, C, D, four. Add them together, so four marks. Then you've got to go take into account requirements, which I won't explain today, but a full requirement is worth 2.5 marks. Now that start value is worth 6.5, four at 2.5. 
6.5. First of all, let me explain the judging panel. There is a D jury and an E jury, one for difficulty, one for execution. Now, the set of judges from the difficulty jury have just worked out the routine that we've done. They do it on the spot. They've got to be on the ball. They've got to be watching what skills are doing, working out the value exactly, and they've come to that 6.5 star value. There's another side of the panel, which is the E jury, the execution. So they're watching and they're judging this routine. They've got the pen and the paper. They're looking for little mistakes. There's four common judges' deductions. One temp, three temps, five temps, a hallmark. Now, the easiest way I can explain this is from a dismount. A one temp deduction as a dismount is a step or a hop which is within your shoulder angle. So it'll be very, very little hop, very little step. A three temp deduction is just outside your shoulder angle. A three temp deduction is probably one of the most common. A five temp deduction is a, is a very, very big step. So a gymnast is, is still on his feet, but he's worked hard, he's had to jump forward. He's took a big five temp, five temp deduction. A full mark is fall. So you'll get a full mark for coming off the apparatus. On a dismount, you'll be putting both hands down or sitting on your bum. The phone's ringing. So the execution judging panel are judging the routine out of 10. So they take all the deductions, whether it's 1, 10, 3, 10. It all adds up and it's out of 10. Now, a generally, a very clean routine is a mark or less deduction. A really great score is a 9. So they took a full mark off. It was a clean routine. They still did all the landings. You have your start value, which for me, I give you an example, it's a 6.5. Then you add it to your execution score, which is a 9. The score that you get at the end is a 15.5. A quick overview, there's 10 skills in the routine. Each skill is a different difficulty element from A to G. You have a certain amount of requirements that a gymnast has got to in include in the routine. These two, the difficulty and the requirements, are added together to make a start value. I give you an example of 6.5. Then there's an execution panel on the judges. They're watching and they're judging, they're taking deductions of the, see the mistakes. The, the common deductions are one temp, three temps, five temps, or a mark. They've watched the full routine. Niles done a clean, uh, clean floor routine. He's hit great landings, he's scored a nine execution. We then add the 6.5 to the nine execution. I, Niall Wilson has scored 15.5 on floor. <laughs> I don't have a clue if this is making sense. So a couple of pointers, like a, a fantastic score to look out for when you're in a competition is 15. You know, if you're watching the World Championships or, you know, the, the very major events. But generally, a score to look out for is 15. And if you're in the crowd and you've watched it and you've not had a clue what's going on, look out for the score. If it's close to 15 or it's above 15, it's done well. He or she has done well. You have your score on each piece adds up for the all-round result. Now, this is important to know as an outsider. This is the very pinnacle of gymnastics. To be, you know, that is the best on every single apparatus added together. So for an all-round score, you're looking, you're looking at high 80s into the 90s is, is a phenomenal all-round score. Scores of 15, scores of 90 all-round. Now, in each competition, there usually will either be a result on each apparatus. So whoever scored highest on each apparatus will gain a medal or they will, in the majors, the Olympics, the Worlds, there will be an extra final. One of our specialities as a nation is the pommel horse. Lewis Smith, Max Whitlock, incredible. Olympic medals, world champion. A gymnast who, who maybe isn't so focused on the all round will have a specialist apparatus where they excel and they actually both scored scores of 16 on that apparatus. So look out for that and that, like a score of 16 is mega, mega. Now in a team and in a team final at the Olympics, the world championships, there is three gymnasts that go up on each apparatus and three scores that count. So it's a very, very high pressure environment. You go up on each apparatus, each three scores count and each are added together over the whole six apparatus. So 18 room routine scores are added together. There you go. I really hope that was simple. But hopefully that helps you. And you know, for anyone who's going to the British Championships in April, who's got tickets to see the Olympics, who's got tickets for Worlds, who went to Glasgow last year, etc. You can hopefully now go there and have a better experience, try and you know get involved with the scoring, try and understand... You know, you'll see the start values at the side of the screen. You'll see the score popping up. You'll be looking out for those 15 scores. Can you count 10 elements in the routine? Try and differentiate between what's what's a very, very difficult skill and what's a, what's a low value skill. But yeah, I hope this really helped and I hope it's changed. It can change the world. <laughs> but yeah, no, thanks for watching, guys. And um, make sure you like and share and comment, etc. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, train smart, keep it real.